Hi everybody, long time no see. Uh, I'm Gong Zhe from CGT and Digital and I'm doing technology and today I'm in the China World Hotel to report to you about this company called Horizon Robotics. Uh, the reason behind this company I'm doing the report is that uh, they created a chip that can be installed into a camera that can recognize 200 people at the same time. That's quite amazing, right? Because when we talk about AI recently, that is not quite amazing anymore because everything is now claimed that they have integrated AI. But for this company, things are quite different because they're doing it really fast. And they have set up a demonstration area and I will show you how it works. As you can see that this is a conference room that they have just finished their press conference to introduce to the world their new product, uh, a chip called Journey that can be put inside a car monitoring device and a device and another device that can be put in camera to monitor civilians. And now let's see, this is the entrance for the press conference and they have uh, they have their, their device already set up. I can see I just walk naturally toward the screen and it just recognize my face it's very fast I think it's more I think it's much faster than the previous devices we have tested on CGT and live right and now we have uh, and we have glad to have the opportunity to have a talk with the company's co-founder and VP of algorithm to explain more about this device and let's see I think he's inside here right now right okay let's see Okay, this is Huang Chang, uh, the co-founder and VP of algorithm of the of this robotic company. And now, because um, um, we haven't toured uh, the our uh, audiences to the, to the devices yet, so maybe you could, you could make a short introduction of what this chip really does. Okay, mm -hmm. um, this chip actually is a very in tiny but very powerful uh, computer vision chip. And uh, it can support uh, one, 108, uh, 1080p, uh, 30, uh, very high definition and high speed uh, process, uh, image, uh, video processing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, so uh, you mean the video running on 1080p and at 30 frames? At 30 frames per second, yes, exactly. And it's a, a, it is able to detect, track, and recognize up to 200 target simultaneously, so it's very powerful. And it can be used in many application areas, such as uh, aid system, such as uh, surveillance, and uh, smart device. Okay, so um, according to what I saw on the press conference, that um, most of the company do, uh, doing AI having a giant supercomputer running on behind, um, behind the scene, but um, I don't think it's the case for your company's solution, right? Exactly. Uh, at the very beginning, when we start this, uh, started this company two and a half years ago, we believe that uh, we should take an uh, inverse way of applying the AI to the real world, to the real life. We should start from the front end that is embedded and edge computing. So, so embedded, you mean put, put something in the camera? In the it's camera, in the, all the devices all around us. It's not far away on the crowd. It should be very close to us. Uh, especially for some environment applications that requires a very uh, low latency and real time uh, response. So, by low latency, you mean how low? How low? A um, hundred millisecond level. Mm -hmm. uh, you can never expect the uh, internet com in internet uh, latency as low as that level. Yeah, okay. When I play computer games, I think the latency usually is 120 milliseconds. Uh, and it, uh, for computer game? Yeah, for, for net games. Oh, yeah. Okay, if for net game, yes, you are laggy, you're sort of laggy, but how about ADAS? Uh, oh, we, we cannot afford uh, uh, 100 or 200 millisecond latency. That causes uh, fatal deaths. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's quite a serious matter. And uh, on the other side, even if we are not that care about the latency, for example, for surveillance and some smart camera uh, statistics analysis, uh, you, are, you don't really care the latency, but still you care about the benefits because uh, the benefits still cost a lot. If we are able to process the video at the very beginning, then we are able to figure out which part of the data should be sent to the cloud. So you mean that you're not, so with, with the chip installed in your camera, it's no longer needed to stream the video back to the center? We don't. 
depends on the applications, we are able to process a video and understand many content of the video. And if you need to further record and further um, deep into some, some for example, analyzes. Some, yes, analyze, then you are able to send just a small part of the informative uh, video or type of content back to the cloud. That dramatically reduces the bandwidth and uh, the load of the system, of the cloud system. For, yes. example, for example, if you a uh, traditional solution for a uh, smart, uh, for smart, smart, smart camera is uh, on the cloud side, and for a server, it can support up to, for example, four way, four cameras. With our embedded solution, solution we are able to deal with ninety percent of the task on the front and each server is able to support 10 times more front-end, that means uh, so 40, 40? Uh, Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, that sounds very amazing. Yes, yes, uh, and the server cloud uh, only need to do what it is uh, suitable for. But, um, so, as though it is a small chip yes. installed on the camera, would it be, um, so what is the cost of this chip? Because, you know, we are using this, this chip to save bandwidth cost, right? But uh, if the chip itself is very expensive, so what's the point? The chip itself, actually, to tell the truth, the chip is in very low cost. It's in low cost. We are able to uh, achieve this by just simply by combining the algorithm development and uh, chip design together and jointly optimize them. That's why we are able to do that. So you're building your, uh, so you're building the chip by yourself. Yes, exactly. And the chip architect, how we store the data, how we process the data, how we compute this data, defined uh, arrived actually arrived from the algorithm, our own very spe special, uh, very special algorithm. So um, it is a, a very unique point of view uh, for people uh, for startup company to do uh, AI stuff. Okay, that's very great. So thanks for you joining us on the CGTN Live. Uh, now we're going to tour the exhibition area further right. to, to further let our audience see what this really cool like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so now let's get to the point because there is a live demonstration in that area and you can see that there are still many people. Although the conferences have ended like 20 minutes, so, but still there are many people walking around here talking about the demonstration. Now let's see what this camera in action would actually look like. You can see here there are, more, there are some screens and each of these screens demonstrates some of the most important features of this chip. Let's see here. So for the first one, <coughs> for the first, first one here, I believe it is a civilian's camera on the road. You can see that there are, uh, this is a, a road in the city and there are cars and uh, motorbikes and people walk, uh, walking and running along the street. But you can see every, everything are put, are put, inside, a, a, a put inside a frame. Uh, let's say frame, a blue or purple frames. And so these frames are actually drawn by the chip itself because the ch uh, and the chip can not only recognize these cars and, and, and bikes, it can also tell what kind of car it is. You can see on the bottom of the screen that there are, there are information rolling from left to right, to right and these information detailly showed what time the car passes the, the camera and what color is the car what so which manufacturer built this car and even the car plate number that I cannot that I cannot see clearly with my own eyes that could be really great because um, I think the city management and traffic police would love to see this because uh, they, this camera basically take care of almost everything by itself anymore because the camera does everything on, on, on its own side. That's very interesting. Now let's see the, the next one. So the next one is also interesting. This is a human face recognizing device. As you can see that there are people talking here and <clears throat> their faces are drawn. Uh, uh, there is an overlay circle on their faces. Now you can see that I am now standing in front of this camera. So this 
So you can see that there is me, I'm waving my hands here. As you can see, I'm waving my hands here. And there is a circle on my face as well. There are four point, there are four dots placed on my eyes and my lipstick. Oh, it is lagging. Okay, now it's okay. It's back to normal. And it's rec and you can see there, there on the right, there are, uh, there are a list of people that's coming, that's rolling up to, uh, from top to the bottom. And it's also, I just, saw, I just saw me on the list. I don't know if you recognize, I just saw me on the list. For, I will, yeah, I turn, my, I, like I turn back and turn back around again. You can see that my photo is showing on the, on the top right corner t two times. That's very cool because um, that photo is me 10 years ago, but still it, it, it knows that uh, and uh, I had a completely different hairstyle, but still it recognized me like many times, even with my hand on my face. Okay, that's really great. And on the bottom of the list, there is a rolling, uh, rolling uh, data that's saying that, which uh, saying the, uh, I think that's the, uh, male or female and the age uh, age range of people and even our camera girl have be, have been recognized behind the camera so th let's see the next one the next one is is what they uh, is what they call the car support system because uh, they with the device in front of a car they could rec the camera can read the information on the road as you can see in the video um, the ground are drawn are colored as purple and cars colored as as blue and even the things nearby the ir irrelevant things around the road are colored in green I believe so and um, there are also the signs and uh, the, uh, the lights and you can see lights and signs on the road color red or color yellow so uh, so this chip basically recognizes everything along the road, uh, and it, it may be it may be applied to the future self-driving cars so it can, because it's already reading everything nearby. And I have asked the, the company's um, the company's uh, technical people. They told me that it is possible to recognize 95 percent with accuracy of 95 percent. That's quite amazing, but maybe it's still not high enough to, to deal with everything on road because I think for cars that can cause accidents. So we need like 100% for sure, right? So maybe this still needs a little time for it, for it to develop further. And uh, they also, for, for more like traffic, for more traffic solutions, they have a more detailed demonstration with <coughs> with you and with you can play one of the Beatles band, band member. But um, but uh, this show itself is, is not very interesting. But they have the device here in, re uh, in in action. You can see so on the screen there is there is nothing important to say about the screen. But let's let's bear with me on this device. Let's see that. They call it a ADAS solution, and this this device, this small device with a camera in it, can do all the recognition we have just shown you previously. So this device is very small. It's basically just a monitoring device we have right now on our cars. So the size itself is really attractive because it does not only shoot all the video, it also process the video and show you the conclusions it's drawn. So the calculations, the recognition are all done in this device is so it does not stream any video cotton to the server it only shows it only provides the the conclusion it's drawn to the server so text instead of video that could save a lot of bandwidth I think that is what the, the co-founder and VP just told us right now okay <clears throat> so as you can see that this chip is really great and um, I pr and you know um, a lot of companies that have developed a similar technology in this world, but um, I don't think they have similar way of demonstration to show you directly in your face that what this thing is actually happening. You can see all the areas they can just do. They can just put it in action with random people walking around, and they don't they don't fear about any miss any problem. So it could be really cool for this company to put this demonstration in front of us. So I, I don't think there are many people, media people, or uh, or the industry people around have known much about this technology. But now they but now they. This, with this demonstration, they have a clear understanding of what the company is actually doing. So this is uh, so I can't tell 
if this technology is the best in the world, but this demonstration have clearly made a great impression in my mind. I don't know what about you. You can leave uh, you can leave a comment on our comment area and discuss with the uh, with the people viewing uh, uh, viewing this video on the globe together. So that is all of the demonstration we have today. I will see you next time.